So the phase SPAC merger finally went through and it's trading under the ticker symbol FAZE. And in this video, we're just gonna take a quick look at it and see if it's something to trade. So earlier last year, FaZe had an initial valuation of $1 billion during the SPAC deal, but right now it came out around $725 million. Uh, that's just due to a lot of things going on in the market. I mean, you can see right here, year to date, the market overall is down. So it's really surprising that they went through with this SPAC deal during this time. I mean, a lot of other SPAC companies are down year to date. So we'll just see what 2022 has for this company. Now, if you don't know what the FaZe Clan is, it's a professional esports company that oversees entertainment and marketing. So you can think of a music label that represents streamers and gamers. FaZe makes the majority of its money from its competition, its ads, its marketing, sponsorships, deals, and other merch. But the initial $1 billion valuation is a pretty high number, so let's take a look at the company. Now, there's no public financial information on FaZe since it's just merged via SPAC, so all we can do is speculate until more financial information is out. This is not going to be a fair comparison since Warner Music Group is much larger than FaZe, but I just wanted to see what the profit margins on a company like this would be since Warner Media is already well established. So right now its profit margin is single digits or negative, but you can imagine for FaZe the profit margins during the last two years might have been their largest. So that might have been where their initial valuation came from since a lot of their money might have been generated during lockdown where a lot of people were inside watching them. So a lot of their money came from ad revenue, merch, sponsorships, and other things like that. So 2020 and 2021 may have been their peak. Now let's take a quick look at the company's chart. Now it's trading around 910 right now, but remember SPACs initiate around $10. So it's only down around less than 10%. And since the company is relatively new, I'd imagine the options premium is relatively high. So we're gonna have to wait a few weeks to see what the premiums look like. Personally, I plan on staying far away from this company and honestly, I would try to short it, but I feel like FaZe is a marketing company and they may be able to build a cult around it, so you never know. Now, hopefully this helps you out with what's going on with the FaZe merger, but if you have any other companies you want me to take a look at, comment them down below. And if you enjoyed the video, like or subscribe for more content like this.